Hi guys, welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. Today what we're going to do is a bit of upcycling. Um, I'm going to work on the canister set that was in my thrift haul video. So if you like videos that deal with thrifting, thrift hauls, art, uh, furniture, painting, uh, home improvement, um, any of those type of things, upcycling, then please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. All of that helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it. So without further ado, we're going to get started on these canisters. So I took off the handles ahead of time and I went ahead and taped these up. Um, because I want them to be food safe when I'm done. And although the products I'm using are no VOC, they have not gone through the certification to be uh, food safe because it's very expensive. So I taped it up so that there's no question. Now I'm using a DIY Salvation Solution in clear so that um, none of the tannins in the wood will come back up through because we'll be using a white paint and I don't want it to turn yellow. So um, we're going to put this barrier in between. And um, typically this stuff does not, um, it goes on very smooth. In this case it did bubble up some um, due to the fact that there was some kind of oil base um, finish to the original canisters. Um, so we're just going to work with texture today um, and see what we can do with what this has done. I don't want to sand because if I do, um, that breaks that uh, seal that was already on the canisters and we will definitely end up with some tannins um, that rise up through the paint. So I'm just using a cheap chip brush to do this process um, because it really doesn't have to be anything fancy. You just want to get it on there so that it creates a uh, seal and a bond between the original canisters and the products that we're going to put on top of it. Okay guys, so if you have been around me at all, you know that I like to thrift. I'm not a big shopper. I don't like to go buy clothes and I don't like to go um, spend a bunch of money buying things for my house. I do like to go thrifting because I enjoy upcycling things. I enjoy taking things that has lived their life, that are outdated, and making that into something that I can put in my booth and it will make somebody else happy for the next 10 years or five years or three years or year for that matter. I try to price things really well so that um, people can redecorate on a budget. All right, so now we're just going to go through and put um, some Dixie Belle and buttercream on the canisters. We're just um, going to go through and do two coats of paint and that will be sufficient for us to be able to put the crockery stamps on and um, make these really pretty and very uh, French country chic. Now I did um, paint these live on my Facebook channel um, and so when you see me squint and look at the screen I'm reading comments and um, as you can tell, I'm talking all the way through this, um, even though you aren't hearing my running commentary that I did live. Um, and that's why it looks kind of weird. Also, 
uh, every Tuesday morning I do a uh, live video on my Facebook called Tierra Tuesdays, and that is why I have a tiara on. Although I don't believe that there needs to be a reason to wear a tiara, you should be able to wear one any time that you want. And as you can tell, one coat actually is doing a really good job of um, covering, but there is some streaks, and that's why we're going to go through and do a second coat. Um, for the video purposes, when I did my live, I just did the second coat um, on the front um, that I was going to be stamping on, and that saved some time um, for my live video where I didn't uh, have to have people sit and watch and listen to me ramble on while I put a full second coat on each of these canisters. So I had sold a few tables out of the booth and now my booth is three hours away and I needed to get something to put in there. So I went thrifting here locally. We don't have a lot of thrift stores, but I was able to find um, a table and um, like a little microwave cart that I upcycled into a coffee bar. And I was able to find those so that I could get those painted, get them ready for the booth and take them down. Well, since I was going down and I had to take my pickup with my canopy, I thought it's the perfect time to see what I could find furniture wise because I knew what was local and I kind of exhausted what was out there at this particular point in time. So I told my husband, I said, you know, I don't really need smalls. I have lots of smalls, but I would like to stop a couple of places and look for so some So we furniture. stopped at Idaho Youth Ranch and we stopped at Goodwill, just one of each that was down there. And well, I didn't find any good furniture. Um, there was one really good table and I held the door open for the nice lady leaving Goodwill with it on my way in. So I missed that one. But when I'm in a thrift store, it's hard for me to just go look at the furniture. I have this need to look at the smalls to see if there's anything that I might possibly need that is just too good to pass up. And of course, I found a few things that were just too good to pass up and they are in my thrift haul video. But one of them was this canister set and these were so cool. And I didn't pay a lot for them. The large one was $3.19 the mid medium one was $2.59 and the small one was $2.19. So, you know, that's a really good low investment to be able to put some money into, a little bit of time into, and flip. So, they had to come home with me and they were just perfect. And they sold during my live while I was doing it on Facebook. So, I didn't even get them back to my booth. Okay, so here we are with our crockery stamps. These are an IOD product, um, and I've picked out three different ones for each one for each canister. And I've got an IOD ink pad with the IOD black ink, and I'm just taking the pad and running it over the top of the crockery stamp. And then I'm to make sure that there's a good amount of ink on the stamp. And then I am just simply moving that stamp over to the canisters and placing it as close to center as I can, um, just eyeballing it. And then I do 
uh, this thing called tickling the stamp. So you want to hold it um, in place with one hand so that it's not shifting so that you get a nice clear image and then you just kind of tickle your fingers over the stamp um, so that the image is on evenly all the way across. Now I will be waxing these to seal them. I did not video that process because I had not fully finished the painting process. All right guys, so it's no secret that I'm addicted to thrifting. Not a big shopper, but I do like to thrift. I do like to upcycle. I do like to see what I can take this and turn it into. And I like to put it in my booth. So I will continue to do these videos. This was today's video. If you liked it, like I said, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, help my channel grow. Um, I'm trying to reach, I think I have to have a thousand to be able to uh, go live on YouTube. And that is my goal. And it's going really slow. So if you would, I'd appreciate it if you could help me find some subscribers. All right. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I'm going to put on a couple pictures of the end um, result of these canisters. And I appreciate you hanging with me this week. I'll be back again next week. And you guys have a really good week.